Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Generation Selects. Sandstorm. This is one bot I have been anxiously awaiting. He kept getting delayed over and over again, but I finally have him now in my collection. Now taking a quick look at the box. This is your normal Generation Selects box. Plain brown cardboard with a spray painted Autobot logo here. Transformers War for Cybertron. And that's pretty much it. And then you've got a decal saying what's inside. And inside the box we have sandstorm in all of his glory and i have been looking forward to this guy because i am very familiar with his color scheme so now without further ado let's get sandstorm opened up out of this packaging and check him out and welcome to patriot prime reviews <laughs> Now, once you get Sandstorm all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. Though Sandstorm here is the seventh use of the Earthrise Seeker Mold, so you should know how to transform this guy by now. He also comes with his two Null Rays that are the exact same as all the other Seekers, and we'll just plug those in to his shoulders. And now we have Sandstorm all armed and ready for battle. Now Sandstorm here is a repaint of Earthrise Ramjet in a desert color scheme. And what's really cool, in jet mode, he has a desert camo color scheme. And I really like that. As I said in the intro, I'm very familiar with that look. Now taking a closer look at Sandstorm, I really like his paint applications. This color scheme really works for the guy and totally makes him look like a different figure. Of course, he is a different character. We've got white paint applications here inside the pylons with little red triangles, a jet black face with red eyes. I do like the paint applications for the eyes. I mean, that is spot on. He's got black here for the chest thrusters, a brown waist, brown biceps down here on the knees, more white and red, black down here on the shins and the toes. There's also some brown back there for the heels. He also has this translucent orangish yellow cockpit that I really like. I'm not a fan of the translucent plastic, but sometimes it really, really works. Now, Sandstorm here has the exact same articulation as the other Seekers. The head's on a ball joint, can look up, look down, do a complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360. They can go up, they can go down. There is a bicep bend and a bicep rotation, though mine is really, really tight. There is no wrist rotation due to transformation. The same with the waist. So it's kind of sad that these guys lack waist articulation, but oh well. Legs can go in and out. They can go up and down, though they do hit right here on the hip skirt unless you bring that up. There's also a knee bend and hip rotation. No knee rotation 
and there is an ankle tilt. Man, the joints on mine are tight, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I've had so many loose figures lately. So there we have Sandstorm in robot mode. Now let's check him out in jet mode. Jet Mode is where Sandstorm shines and is actually the reason I picked this figure up. I absolutely love the looks of this jet. He's got the flying tagger mouth right there on both sides of the nose cone, which looks spectacular. Not to mention, he's got the black nose cone that the Seekers need to have. The orange cockpit looks great, and he's got this awesome desert camouflage all over the jet. I wish the desert camouflage pattern carried over to robot mode. After seeing jet mode, robot mode, it looks a little plain. I love that. He's got the brown Decepticon logos on each wing. He's got some light tan paint applications there on the tail fins. I mean, overall, this jet mode looks fantastic and I couldn't be happier. I love this. So now for a quick comparison, here is Generation Select Sandstorm with Earthrise Ramjet. And man, what a difference a paint job makes. Plus, I love the fact he's got that big black nose cone that these guys really, really needed. So there you go, guys. One final look at Generation Select Sandstorm in jet mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Generation Select's Earthrise Sandstorm with Generation 1 Sandstorm, Generations Sandstorm, and I think this is the first time I've moved my figure from that shelf since I bought him. And Earthrise Ramjet. Now take note, my Ramjet here has the non-F weapons, which really add more to his G1 look, compared to the original Seeker weapons that he came with. Transformers Generation Select's Earthrise Sandstorm is a great addition to your Seeker Armada. My only complaint with this figure is I wish he had the desert camo look in robot mode. I would love to have had that there on his chest, maybe his arms, but it is what it is. He's still a great figure and comes highly recommended. So there you go, guys. Transformers Generation Selects Sandstorm. So, does a Transformers Generation Selects Earthrise Sandstorm belong in your collection? This is one for the Seeker Collectors. This is not a mainline character, which is great for a Generation Selects toy. I mean, keep the exclusives for the offbeat characters. But being a Seeker fan, this guy is great because he's so... Unique. I don't think we've ever had a desert camo seeker before. So if you're a seeker fan, highly, highly recommended. And I think he's pretty well available everywhere now. So pick him up. You're like I said, if you're a seeker fan, you're not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!